Hi everyone, I hope you're great. I'm working on my Philippine fish series and that's the first one. Working on the second one now with mandarin fish. And I'm now working on the background. These are the inspiration photos that I will be transferring to my canvas. The background will look kind of abstract and it's it's going to look like it's a far away scene in the deeps of the water and hopefully I will be able to achieve that. We are guided by our instructor Rick Balingan and we have quartered the canvas and we're using four different colors. We just continue to smudge color in whatever fashion. It's um, something that is not organized. It's just a mess of things, I think. After all the white waters layering, we recover some of the colors back by doing the same waterous paint overlay. We are spending so much time on the background because we want to have that background that uh, doesn't take away from the main characters which are the mandarin fish which are very colorful so although we're putting in details now you will notice later that i will make it even less in details and just cover it again Again, it's one layer after the, uh, the other of a waterous paint to create that water, deep water look. I did draw in some bubbles, but 
later on I will decide to remove them. So finally, we are a bit satisfied with what we get. So we begin sketching the fish using a pointed brush and using a white acrylic paint. Again, we refer back to our photo inspiration so that we may transfer this beautiful image on the canvas. As I always mention, I love acrylic because it is such a forgiving medium. If you make a mistake, you can draw over it again. You can just cover it with white or black, whichever is required so that you can paint over a painting part which you do not like and you want to do over. Then we put details one after another until we reach a point where you are satisfied that you have inputted all the details that you desire for that object. It's
it's like discovering that after some touches then there it is it's the image that you want and then that makes you happy at this stage you might um, feel you want to give up but with some persistence with some determination and a lot of patience you will reach that level that you will be feeling happy because you are quite satisfied with what you have. Well, for me, that's what I try to do. Just keep on doing it until such time that I am satisfied with the figure in front of me. Remember that you are copying a photograph so it you can do a lot of artistic license to sort of make the fish move or you can redefine some details so that you are able to make an image that gives the same vibe as the photograph it doesn't have to be a detail per detail copying of the photograph inspiration you can just have it as an inspiration and make your own fish Creating shadows or shadowing and creating highlights or highlighting your object will make it come to life and make it look more 3D and make it look roundish. So it's really very important to check where the light is coming from and to project that into the painting, making the object itself come to life with a 3D look because of the shadowing and the highlights that you're doing. My final painting has a very abstract background, no bubbles. Travels, gardens, Ikinobo Ikibana, zero waste gardening, making money, painting, family, friends, prayers. Please like my video. Please ring the bell below for notifications. Naku, maraming salamat po sa inyo.